As the countdown continues to the Great American Eclipse, Vermont's only planetarium and the town of St. Johnsbury are gearing up for the exciting event. We're just 20 days out from the moment the moon blocks the sun, plunging parts of our region into near total darkness. St. Johnsbury's right on the edge of the path of totality. They'll be in the dark for about a minute and a half. Adam Sullivan brings us to the Fairbanks Museum and Planetarium to check in on how their preparations are going this close to the event. The Fairbanks Museum and Planetarium has been an integral part of downtown St. Johnsbury since the late 1800s. So needless to say, it's taking a leading role in the once in a lifetime event. The interactive exhibits at the museum are what Ethan William Kalberg likes the most. I really love the, the polar bear. I think it's awesome. It's like huge. The newest exhibit, spotlighting the pending total solar eclipse, is another learning opportunity. It's going to be completely dark. The moon's going to cover the sun entirely. The museum includes the region's only public planetarium, where additional eclipse presentations are underway with planetarium director Mark Breen. I've known for, for decades that this was happening and suddenly it's here. The new science annex opened just in time. Additional education tables and crafts are in the works for the historic event, which falls right in line with the organization's mission. The scientific part of it, but also the experience of it. We're really gonna emphasize safety to make sure that everybody who wants to come and experience the eclipse knows how to protect themselves, especially their eyes. Part of Main Street will be closed on April 8th to accommodate a party hosted by various community partners. Catamount Arts, the Athenaeum, St. Johnsbury Academy, and our downtown organization. We are really excited to be working with them closely to support some of the parking and logistical and infrastructure needs that are going to be cropping up as a result of the visitation we're expecting. Thousands of visitors are expected in this town alone. The goal is to make sure everyone leaves happy. A lot of things that are here in our small community that are worth visiting even when there's not a huge eclipse event. This 12 year old is ready. Definitely going to check it out. And while this region of the state will only be in darkness for about 90 seconds, the block party will be celebrating the event all day long. Reporting from St. Johnsbury, Adam Sullivan, Channel 3 News. Adam, thank you. And if you're wondering how other towns are getting ready for the Great American Eclipse, just head over to our website, WCAX.com, to find out. And as you just heard, St. John's Berry is on the edge of the path of totality, but still in it on April 8th. So while communities closer to the center of the path of totality will experience about three and a half minutes of darkness on April 8th, St. John's Berry right on the edge here will only get about a minute and a half. But still, for anyone hoping to catch that eclipse from St. John's Berry, we'll start to see a partial eclipse first around 215. We'll start to see the sun get gradually more covered by the moon shadow, be in total eclipse between 328 and 3. 329 on that afternoon, about a minute and 30 seconds of totality, and then partial eclipse will continue until 438 in the afternoon. All right, thank you for that, Jess.